What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another mod review video. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at three mods. It's going to be the All Shops mod, the All Shops bundle, multi-selling station, and the D375 liquid tanker. The reason why I'm taking a look at this mod, it, these mods are as follows. Um, the All-in-One shop, you can actually purchase TMR and various other items from. The TMR is actually what caught my attention. The uh, multi-selling station, which is um, made by the same person who made the all-in-one shops, um, Edge Gaming. You can sell every product in the game. You're talking about herbicide and um, um, products, for example, like fertilizer, um, chicken feed, um, crops, all that stuff in that. And you can also purchase a lot of the stuff from here as well, like chicken feed, um, pig food and stuff like that um reason we're taking a look at the liquid tanker is that this buy point over here also has you know liquid stuff for, uh, like i said before liquid fertilizer herbicide um water digested stuff like that and that tank can transport it all so the first thing we're going to be taking a look at and um is the all-in-one mod it takes 28.6 megabytes to download um, 5,000 to purchase and 28 slot counts for this specific one so if we go into placeables on the miscellaneous and go all the way over I can give you an explanation as to why so this is the one I purchased which at this buy point you can purchase all of what you see listed below which is like you know like I said digested for liquid fertilizer stuff like that then you can select each one of those products individually as a placeable buy station buying station for example like you see right here the chicken food digest it you can place those separately or have all of them in this one shop which is what i placed so this is what i'm going to be focusing on the thing like i said that caught my eye was the um the fact that you can purchase tmr when doing animals specifically cows and stuff like that you need tmr to increase your productivity which means the yield that you get from for example the slurry or milk you have to give them um tmr tmr production is time consuming um you have to get the, you have to cut the grass if you're doing it that way and turn it into silage um get straw hay depending on what um placeable you're using to mix the tmr or what machine you're using to mix the TMR and all of that takes time so let's purchase some TMR here this Fent um, the trailer I think is a 2500 liter trailer let's go ahead and purchase some TMR and see how much it costs to fill that all right so for 2500 liters it cost $115 and that took us literally seconds so already if we had a farm for cows and stuff like that we'd have food to feed and wouldn't have to wait on anything the next thing I wanted to experiment with is if we purchased the um, the TMR from there and sold it back if it would be somewhat of a profitable business now the idea of that is as follows is for example if you want to do role playing saying that instead of having a farm you have a farm supply shop you could do that all right so that cost 194 so you're making about 70 dollars for off of what you purchase it so you purchase it for 115 and then you're selling it back for 194. now as i was saying before if you wanted to do a like a instead of doing a farming simulator you do a farm supply simulator you could do it this way you could have the buy point which is this purchase the goods from it and go ahead and sell it back at the selling point uh, a lot of people might say but hey this is farming simulator you know whatever I, um, it shouldn't work that way but you know you making the game the way you want it it, it, it you kind of tailoring the game to your needs I think that's that's fine and if the mods were if they didn't have these mods available then you wouldn't be able to do it that way but since they're available utilize them I know I mean I've said it before where I think it makes sense where you have multiple buy points and sell points on a specific map that way you have diversity because in reality if, if we were doing this in real life you would have more than one option for buying stuff or more than one option for selling your products um as for liquid items this 
um, buy point it sells um, herbicide liquid herbicide water slurry digested liquid fertilizer those you can actually purchase as well here and sell it back at that buy point at that sell point it, it, it just makes sense and it, it works so again if you have if you wanted to do a, a kind of a role play and say hey all right let's go here and purchase some um, liquid fertilizer you know we have a customer that wants it and you know do it that way and you could you know you could not show that that's what you're doing and just role play it out and then go ahead and sell it back at the sell point or role play it out fully where you say hey um you know you picked up some of the fertilizer and you dropped it off to the, per the person who purchased it and you, you know make the money that way then that makes sense all right so that cost twenty three thousand seven sixty to purchase eighteen thousand liters of um of liquid fertilizer if we were to sell this back right now we'll see how much we get and then after this i'll give you guys a in you know an in-depth detail of the tanker as well as the sell point in terms of slot counts how much it is to download in-game cost what's the capacity stuff like that all right so if we were to sell the fertilizer we would have made you know almost ten thousand dollars on that eighteen thousand liters that we purchase now for this tanker this tanker is the d375 and that is by it's by carl 911 to download it is 12.36 megabytes um purchase it in game is twenty four thousand. Um, five slot counts initially and the capacity on it is um, 18,000 liters now what's interesting about this is it's not located under like for example trailers it is actually located under tools under animals which is strange place to put it but that's where it's located there it is um 24,000. like i said options on this there's quite a bit of options but i'm not gonna go through that right now but um that's basically it for the trailer as for the multi-selling station is what i believe it's called this is by edge gaming as well um same people who makes the the buy point right there this one is 5.6 megabytes to download, ten thousand dollars to purchase in game, and 14 slots initially. This is something that makes sense. This one is located under. It's located under placeables, not silos, even though it looks like a silo. And as you can see here, you have two options: black and um, silver. I go. I went with silver because it, and it kind of blends in and looks like a normal silo. Alright guys, um, this is the end of the video. If you did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell beside the subscribe button to get notified every time I post. And if you guys have any tips, comments, suggestions, please go ahead and leave them below. And I'll get back to each and every one of you. Thank you guys again for watching.